I'm going to be taking you through the steps for solving a basic linear programming problem. I'm going to make the suggestion that you pause the video and read the problem and then continue on. I've established variables, S for the number of acres of strawberries and T for the number of acres of tomatoes. And my goal is to translate the information they gave me into mathematical statements so that I can make better sense of them. If I look at the fact that they said I have 30 acres to grow strawberries and tomatoes, I can translate that this way. S plus T is less than or equal to 30. And it's less than or equal to because I can't have any more than 30 acres. Furthermore, they told me that I wanted at least 10 acres to grow strawberries. Well, if S is my variable for, for strawberries, then S has to be greater than or equal to 10. And furthermore, they told me I wanted at least 5 acres to grow tomatoes. So T is greater than or equal to 5. Well, I've expressed all of the limitations as inequalities, and so I'm going to step over and graph each of those on my graph. To graph the blue equation, S plus T is, I'm sorry, the blue inequality, I know that if I put 0 in for S, then I have to have 30 for T, which tells me that 0, 30 is my T intercept. And similarly, if I put 0 in for T, I get 30 for S, so 30, 0 is my S intercept. I'm going to make a blue line, solid line going down here, and that would be shaded downward. Uh, because if I put 0 in for S and 0 in for T, I do get a true statement here at 0, 0. So I should be shading that way. Okay. Also, I'm going to put a vertical line at 10. And indicate that I would be shading right to represent the fact that S is greater than or equal to 10. And finally, I'll put a horizontal line at 5. Shaded up. I would like to have shaded that, done that in green, but that's okay. To indicate that T is greater than or equal to 5. Well, every, air, every point in this region right here represents a possible combination of acres of strawberries and tomatoes. My job now is to find out which possible combination gives me the maximum profit. And we know from li linear programming that that combination will occur at one of the vertices. So let's find the coordinates for the vertices. That is 10, 5. This one here is 25, 5. And this vertex here is 10, 20. So those three combinations are the ones that will earn me the maximum profit. So let's find out what the profit for each of those is. Profit. Okay. Well, I do know that I will make uh, 50 times the number of acres of strawberries plus 60 times the number of acres of tomatoes. We were given that information right here. Okay. So I'll simply sub in each of these combinations and see which one makes me the most money. So 50 times 10 plus 60 times 5 gets me $800. 50 times 25 plus 60 times 5 gets me $1,550. And 50 times 10 plus 60 times 20 gets me $1,700. So apparently I make the most money if I make if I plant 10 acres of strawberries and 20 acres of tomatoes. So I'll write that information right here. Max profit at 10 acres of 
strawberries. Twenty acres of tomatoes. I'll make seventeen hundred dollars. And now we're done.